Now I want to explain how to estimate underground. And when I say underground, I don't mean conduit. I mean labor it takes to trench, compact, and backfill. Okay, as of this recording, Red Rhino currently doesn't have labor units built in for trenching or excavation. Okay, so just real quick, you can see on the right-hand side I have a site plan opened. Um, here we show the site uh, work folder is open. Here's the site plan. I've already taken off or measured, if I should say, the conduit on this, okay? And on the left screen here, you see I have Red Rhino opened. I actually used the conduit wizard to input the conduit that I measured on Plan Swift. I used the conduit wizard for that, showed that in a different video. But now what I want to do is capture the labor for um, running guys, having guys run a trench to trench this whole thing. Now again, this is for demonstration purposes only. I didn't count or measure, rather I should say, all the underground on this job. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. But here's a point. Over here, when I, when I measured the three-quarter conduit that needed to go on this job using PlanSwift, it recorded a certain footage over here, you'll see, of that conduit. And the footage is 729 feet. So I know by looking at that, I need about the same amount of trench. I'm actually going to estimate that much of the same amount of trench. And I do that by manual input. And I'll show you a couple tips and tricks to doing this, and I'll show you what I mean. One of the things I like to do when I'm using PlanSwift on screen here is I like to make lots of notes to myself, okay, on the plans. So in that case, I go up here, I click on Note. Again, it begins to digitize. I put my cursor on the screen here. I left click, and I just drag it down to make a dialog box or a note box here. And then when I let go of it, It'll open a screen and let me type in the text. So I'm going to type in just my thoughts or my estimate of how long it'll take to, um, to do the underground. Again, as you can see, now this is for demonstration purposes only. Don't use my labor on your job, okay? You'll have to figure out how many hours you think it'll take. I like to make real exact notes on, on the plans here. I put trenching. Two men, I could put a dash between here, I usually like to. Trenching, two men, eight hours, 16 hours total. Now, again, this is just a note on the plan that I'm making. I can click the color, the text, the text size here, anything I want. Um, now, I'm going to check auto size. Don't un I don't understand why, but I need to auto size this. I just do because Plan Swift instruction said so. When I do now, it blows out a big note on the plans here. You can see it behind here. I'm just going to click OK. Again, I clicked on the highlighter. I made a size of the highlighter. I, I cho chose, I typed in my, uh, my text here. OK, now again, this is just a note on the plans. There's no input been, been done. I'm going to show you how to input it next. OK, so since I made a note on the plan, the next thing I want to do is actually record the labor here, OK, as a note even, OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click Count. When I do it, it'll digitize, and it asks me for a description. So I'll type in the description of what I want to input over here. So basically, I've just typed in what I want to record over here, and it says the same thing, basically, trenching two men, eight hours, 16 hours total. Let me scroll over so you can read the whole thing. Trenching two men, eight hours, again, 16 hours total. Again, what, I'm just notating this so that I can then record it or actually manually input it into Red Rhino. Now, if I wanted to, I could I could uh, check the you know change colors. Again, I have to make sure that the right folder or section is selected, and I want to record that in the site work section, so I'm okay there. And then I just click OK. And then I'll just click on the screen one time. Okay, I'm just going to click right here by trenching. Okay, and so now I have that recorded over here with a quantity. Now I'm going to right click here and stop counting or digitizing. Now I want to show you again what it what I did was I put a note on the plans. Just a, this is a note to self. Okay, again I do this a lot on these plans. I'm just making little notes to myself. When I go back and review these plans, I'll know what I was thinking a lot of times. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to change screens here on Plan Swift. Again, I'm going to input this now into Red Rhino. So I click on the estimating tab up at the top, and notice how I, I input 
trenching two men eight hours, 16 hours total. Now, anything, here's a hint, anything that isn't in our product or in the Red Rhino product catalog or assembly catalog, I said that backwards, anything that isn't in the Rhino catalogs here um, or files, then you must input those items into Red Rhino manually. And I'm gonna do that now. So all I do is I'm in this estimate here. I'm just gonna go over and I'm going to click the add labor button. Okay, this is the way to just add labor in Red Rhino. So I click the add labor button. When I do, it opens a window up where I can type in and add labor. I'm gonna type the description, the quantity, and the labor hours, okay? Now what I'm doing again is I'm adding labor for trenching, like I said, two men, eight hours, and I'll show you how I do that. So I typed in a description, trenching, two men, eight hours each. Now, since it's two men, eight hours each, I'm gonna put in a quantity of two, and I'm going to put in a quantity of eight hours in this window or box, and then I'm gonna click save. Now, when I click save, it does the math for me. Again, I typed in a description, two, a quantity of two, eight hours each, 16 hours total, okay? So that's how you estimate the trenching for, um, for using PlanSwift and Red Rhino, okay? Now the other thing I wanna show you is how to add for the trencher rental in your expenses. Okay, so now I'm on the estimate page where you input materials. We call it the material takeoff page here. And I'm going to click on the recap button. Now I'm not gonna do extensive training in the recap. I'm gonna drill down real specifically and show you how to add labor, or rather add the cost of your trencher rental expense. Okay, so again, I click on recap button. It opens up the recap here. Now I want to make mention, if you're in this recap, the way to learn to, to use this recap is watching these videos, okay? I'm just going to go up and show you that real quick. Hover on video. Now if you're estimating residential or commercial or structure cabling, you'll just follow those prompts. In this case, it's a commercial job. I want to learn how to use the, the uh, recap for commercial. I hover on commercial. I hover on recap complete. And there's a list of videos. Oops, let me do it again. Hover, hover, and hover here. It shows the videos. I just go down this list and click on them and watch them. These are video clips, what we call video snippets, and it shows me step-by-step, click-by-click, how to use this um, recap, okay? So make sure you watch these training videos if you haven't already done so. This is a powerful tool. You gotta know how to use it, though, okay? So next, I'm going to just scroll down here I know what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for expenses. Now again, I'm showing you how to add the expense for a trencher, for a rental of a trencher, okay? Now, see how it shows expenses here? You know, let me start over kind of with a description here. This is the recap, and I'll just show you a description. The sections that I have in my estimate are shown across here, okay, in the headers at the top, site work, feeders and panels, and branch and lighting. Now it's just working in the site work section, and that's where I'm going to add the um, the uh, expense for the trencher. Okay, and over at the left it shows total, which shows the totals of all three sections rolled together. Now I'm going to scroll down here. I'm looking for expenses. Over on the left I see expenses in dark black letters. I'm going to go. Now it hid the section name here, but I'm going to go in the site work section, and I'm going to open the expenses window by clicking the underlined zero. When I do, it opens up a window, and again, I want to add dollars for trenching, okay? These are alphabetized expenses. I'm going to scroll down here, see if I see something that says trenching, and there it is, trencher. Now, in this case, you have to calculate what your expense is. In my case, I have a, a, a chart that shows me expenses for rental equipment from my rental equipment company, and I'm just going to put plug a value in here. Again, of course, you, your value might be different, but in my value here, or whatever I plug in for the expense, I'm going to add about $40 in my math here for fuel, right? Because trenchers don't run without fuel. So I'm just going to put $250 in here for the trencher rental. Again, yours will be completely different. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm saying, I'm telling this, I'm saying that a trencher rental will be um, $250 for two days, okay? So that's what I'm typing in the expense for here. Now I just scroll up and I click save and close. And when I click save and close then, 
Red Rhino recap adds that expense to the estimate in the section I saved it in, okay? Always check your work when you make entries like this. Notice I plugged in $250 in the um, site work section, and that's what came out, okay? So that's how you estimate underground um, or the labor it takes to do trenching, I should say, okay? That's, that's what I just showed you there. I just want to point out one other thing here. If you ever need help, you can always click on help at the top, or you can chat with this, or you can always call this number and someone will either pick up the phone or call you back, okay, leave a message. Okay, there's help for you there. Just wanted to show you that. Then last but not least, you want to go over into, again, I'm on the estimating tab here on PlanSwift. I want to go over and, and just type in here that these materials were input into Red Rhino. So I know that in reference, and I don't do it twice. So I'll just type in the words input. That's telling, make a note to myself that I've input these materials into Red Rhino software, and it's covered. Okay, I don't need to do it again.